Kane starts denying that he killed him just immediately, which takes away the tension. And how fucking obvious was Eddie Black? Thanks for removing the interesting wordplay with a name, by the way, for no fucking reason. Seriously, the guy got so few close-ups. It was so fucking obvious who he was supposed to be. Okay, the accent was pretty good, maybe. And were we supposed to take him seriously as he was sitting there changing it to, like, fucking disco lighting? And when the first one, it was like, I'm not quite as dumb as you think we policemen are, as you write in your books, and I can tell that something's going on here. Now, if you would just cooperate, in this one, he's just like, I like your wife. I'd like to fuck your wife. Yes, I would like to fuck your wife. Did you hear that? Fuck your wife. I'd like to. Okay, well, he's another fucking competitor for her. It doesn't matter. Wyke doesn't even want the wife. It's just that she's my wife. Again, how fucking obvious was that? Leave something to our imagination. We're not stupid. And I mean, in the first fucking one, the inspector was all, you know, rough and nowhere near as civilized as this upper class Wyke was. And I mean, when he just grabs the caviar and just takes a bite and says, eh, I don't like it, tastes like fish eggs, that was fucking hilarious. In this one, there's nothing like that. The tension and the conflict is just so fake, so phoned in. And then the last part of the movie, what the fuck? In the first one, he came back with a plan. He had something to do. In the second one, Law's just there, and nobody knows what he's doing there. Nobody knows why he's back. Nobody knows why he's there. What is his plan? What was his purpose? What was he doing there? Ah, but that can't be answered because the ending is ambiguous, which in this case is just a way of getting out of actually making up an ending or trying to make it make any goddamn sense. And Law leaves the fucking gun. How fucking not tense was it in this movie when people had guns? It was just, they were just there. I mean, the thing with, you know, ah, but you have a knife. Oh, and now I have a gun. Oh, and now I have both, so you don't have a weapon at all. Just, it wasn't fucking tense. I mean, did anybody not think that Law was going to get shot the moment that he got up from the bed? Because he left the fucking gun there. What was he thinking? What did they expect? What did he expect? But let's back up just a little bit. Okay, so apparently this one is about closet homosexuality. I don't have a problem with the movie about that. You know what? Make a 90 minute movie about that. Hell, make a fucking 180 minute movie about that. Make a fucking miniseries. But make it about that. Don't make it seem like it's about a class struggle and then in the last 20 fucking minutes it's about closet homosexuality. It doesn't work like that. There's such a thing as setting something up. Oh, and don't worry, I did catch that fucking piss ass setup earlier in the movie when he was screaming, oh, I don't even like women, I like boys. There was a boy, I called him Dolores. I'd like to fuck a goat. Who believed that line of dialogue? Nobody talks like that, nobody acts like that. I get that he was fearing for his fucking life, but nobody talks like that, no matter what. And then Law is suddenly trying to walk off just wearing a women's jacket, and we've just thrown all sense out of the fucking window. And then the wife apparently arrives, and that's supposed to be the big finish. Uh oh, the outside is coming in. That was nowhere near as fucking effective as the hard knocking on the door and the lights outside of the fucking police cars. That was an ending. That really left you fucking astonished. This is just, oh thank god, it's fucking over. I don't even want to watch the credits. Just pop the DVD out. I'll never watch this fucking movie again. And yes, the calls were maybe at least potentially good, but Law didn't even appear to fucking care about the wife. He had no problem tearing up her clothing. He suddenly was a closet homosexual. The fucking movie throws a bunch of ideas in our heads and just hopes that we'll think one of them was good and think that the movie was good uh, in extension of that one idea. However fucking underdeveloped and just barely there in the movie it was. Well, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. I sure as fuck did. See you next time.